From time to time, it's important to update the Shop with 6 store so you can get the newest features and bug fixes available. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can upgrade it and how to avoid common pitfalls. Have fun! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Alexander from Shop Studio and let's get started with this tutorial. I'm currently logged in into the Shopware 6 administration and maybe you can already see something. On the top right side, you can see that the new Shopware version is available, the version 6.4.10.1 and my current Shopware version is 6.4.10.0. So basically this is like a small patch and this means it's time to upgrade the store. Just one tip, if you want to see what is new with a specific version, you can always go to the Shopware 6 change log and for example we can see uh, the latest version here and if you click on this, we can also see that this is just a security update, but security updates are important as well. Basically there are two ways how you can upgrade your Shopware 6 store or at least reach the correct part of the administration. The first way, the easy way, is just to click here on this notification on Open Update. But sometimes this notification is not visible anymore. Uh, thus, we go the classical way. We first go to the settings. Now we click here on System. I just want to cancel this. And here on the bottom you can see Shopware Update. We click on it and we now for example can see that for example you can choose the channel basically if you want to have a stable update it's basically always the case or maybe if you want to test a specific feature which is not stable yet we can always go to beta or early access, release candidate and etc. In our case we stick with stable and now we click on check for update and we open the update wizard. This is basically the screen. We can see here again what is new. It's basically the previous message here, the security update. And on the bottom we can see if the system's requirements are correct. We can see that everything is ready, so there's nothing to do here. It might be of course that maybe your server is somehow not configured, maybe after migration, and this is really helpful in this case. And here this is the most important part of the update, is the extension compatibility. It's very important because if your extension is not um, ready for the newest version, you might get the problem during the update that the update installer is somehow breaking and not working anymore. And this is because maybe, the, for example, the app, the plugin or the theme is somehow destroying shopware, at least the code, and then you get errors during the update, and now and then you have to apply a backup again. And here, one more thing, always do a backup before updating. For example, if you click here on start update, you get a notification or at least a notice that you have to create a backup again. So even shopware knows that this is very important and in practice, it's often the case that, for example, the uh, upgrading is not working because, for example, the extension is not compatible. One more tip. It makes sense to deactivate all extension and themes before the update. To deactivate them, I have to go to extensions, my extensions, and basically go everywhere and deactivate them. And sometimes it even makes sense to uninstall them. All right, one more thing. If you uninstall an application, do not check remove all app data permanently. This is bad. So we click on uninstall. Okay, I'm now ready. You can see that all the extensions are not active and they are not installed. But do not forget uninstalling an extension does not mean that you're removing it completely. You can always reinstall the application and activate again. Let's go to the Shopware update wizard again. Check for updates, open wizard. Let's start the update. Yes, I've already created a backup. 
very important. And now I just click and install and we have to wait a little bit until everything is ready for the next step. All right, we are now in the file cleanup step and there's nothing special about the step. We can just see that Shopware, for example, want to clean some old files because they are not needed anymore. We just click on the button forward. Perfect, the update was successful. We click on finish update. We should be able to see our new shiny Shopware version 6.4.10.1. But the update is not finished yet. Maybe you can remember that we have uninstalled all the extensions and now we have to apply the reverse step we have to install and activate all the application and if you get the chance you can always click for example on update if you know that the extension is compatible with your new current version okay i'm ready now everything is installed and activated and basically that's it we can now go to the storefront and check if a shop is still available and as expected we can see our demo store and it seems like everything is correct two things for developers and maybe for shop owners too the first thing for developers if you are activating uninstalling and etc all the extensions it's faster to do it via cli you can even combine the uninstallation and the deactivation of plugins in one command and the other thing, it's very important to always have a staging, a testing and development environment to test the update before applying it to the live version of your shop. So, of course, your shop, which makes money, is no experiment. And I have seen a lot of shops which are doing updates on the live site without testing them before on the staging or testing environment. And, you know, it's not going out well. That's it for the tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel or leave a like or comment below the video and we see us in the next tutorial. Bye!